This is the anti-shock tool lanyard from Telfelberger. And I'd like to just go through some of the features to show you the benefits of why you might want to use one. So having a look at it, once we've got it out of the box, uh, we've got a carabiner that we attach at, at one end. This is the end that we attach to the harness. And then we have a larger webbing loop, which we attach to the chainsaw. Looking closely at it, you'll also see there's a very small little ring. Benefit of that is once you attach it to the chainsaw, if you keep the ring in the end of the lark's foot, it makes it easier to remove it if you need to. Two different features. It comes either with um, uh, an open end here where there's no carabiner or attachment point. It allows the user to put their own carabiner in to be able to clip the chainsaw up high if required. Or you can buy one that already has this red ring already stitched into the loop. Just to explain the tear out section on here, here's an example of one which is deployed. And just to explain it to you, there are two bits of webbing which are stitched together. This is rolled up and this is what you find inside this little pouch here. Okay. Now, if the chainsaw is to get stuck in a cut, like I'm doing a step cut and I get my cuts the wrong way around and it jams in the kerf and it starts leaving uh, the tree, what it's going to do is put force on me, on my harness, on my body, and also my anchor point. Something would need to fail. Now, hopefully, I'd better pull the chainsaw free. If I couldn't, something has to fail. So the benefit of having this anti-shock tool lanyard is the connection point here. If it gets jammed and anything between 2 to 2.7 kilonewtons of force is applied to it, this deploys. And then the stitching here starts to pull away and it should just um, de-accelerate and hopefully we get about halfway and the uh, chainsaw becomes free. If it doesn't and we've made a really big mistake, it'll come all the way to the end, the stitching will come free and then you'll see the two bits of webbing are separated. This portion has the chainsaw attached to it and that uh, leaves and falls to the ground. And then this is still attached to the climber. It means that basically the, the climber is safe. We haven't put excessive force on our body. Looking at how we connect it to the harness. Uh, most people will choose to connect to the rear connection point on the harness. However, by using an anti-shock tool lanyard, it does give us the benefit of connecting this at any point in the harness. So, refer to your instruction manual for your harness. In the case of the tree motion, anything that's rated for PPE, so life support, is in green. Now, if I decided to attach my chainsaw to something that's green in this case, we know that this isn't designed to fail. It's designed to hold us in the tree. So if my saw was to get caught, and I had a standard chainsaw lanyard, there's no safety feature here, nothing's gonna fail, it's gonna cause injury to the climber, or worse, maybe even uh, pull the anchor point out. So by attaching the uh, anti-shock tool lanyard anywhere here, it allows the climber to be safe. Most connection points are on the rear of the harness. So having a look at the new Tree Motion Pro and Essential, we have a red webbing loop. Now this is designed to fail at approximately three kilonewtons. So it's a safety feature. So if our saw was to get jammed and we had nothing else in the system, this will pull free and the stitching will fail and looks after the climber, no injury. However, if we attach the anti-shock tool lanyard to it, we have another additional safety feature in case for whatever reason something else was to happen. If you decide to change uh, the red webbing loop to the openable ring, you can cut that free and attach that in there 
and attach your chainsaw. However, bear in mind that this is rated to 23 kilonewtons, so this is not designed to fail. So it's really important that you have an anti-shock tool lany lanyard attached. Looking at the connection point to the chainsaw, uh, top handle chainsaws generally will be designed with a uh, tear out position on there. So check with your manufacturer's instructions of where you attach it. If, however, as a climber, you, you want to attach the chainsaw lanyard somewhere else on the chainsaw, ensure that you do have an anti-shock tool lanyard for safety. If you also decide to use a ground saw in the tree, these do not have any safety features built in for tear out. So it's really important, again, if you attach the chainsaw lanyard to the rear handle, that you have a safety feature built in, like we have on the anti-shock tool lanyard. Another place that's really important that we have one of these built in is if you are using a work platform and you're in the bucket and you tend to clip your chainsaw to the bucket somehow, uh, we need a safety feature so there's no danger of pulling the machine. So hopefully that's just explained a few features to you and uh, shown you why the, what the benefits are.